Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz back again today with another video for you guys. Today, we're going to go over part three of the how to do body work on a RC hard body. Mostly today, we're going to focus on filler primer, as rust -Oleum calls it, or it's high build primer. So what high build primer is there to do, it's a very fine, think of it as a very fine um, body filler. So we got everything on this body very smooth. Everything's really nice, but we're going to, we're not going to, we're not going to prime the entire body with this high build primer. You don't want to do that. This is more of a spot prime. So we're going to take anywhere we did body work, except I'm not going to worry about the front or the, the front two holes on the fenders or the rear hatch because they're already on a very flat surface. I know they're very flat. I know I can just wait for the regular primer to go down. So I'm gonna hit each um, bolt hole that was covered up here, here, and here on each side. And then I'm gonna put a little flange of tape. We'll go ahead and do that. And mainly just to catch where I don't need a bunch of overspray going because I'm gonna shoot this directly down from the top. So we'll put us a little piece of tape there. We get it in the rib there and she'll fold out and that'll just keep us from getting a bunch of overspray, you know, down on the side of the body. I'll do that on the other side of the body as well. But like I said, all I'm gonna do to this body, let's get this out of the way. All I'm gonna do to this body is, like I said, where there's body work, body work, body work, there, this looks to be low, but it's not. It's from where the the glue was higher around the ed, the CA glue was higher. There's a little pinhole here, a little pinhole here. So I'm going to put a touch on this one, a touch. I will put some here. I'm not going to mess with the back because it's flat. I'm not going to mess with the front because it's flat. So here, 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 and across this whole seam, and I'm going to feather this out a little bit. And I've already cleaned this body. That's something I haven't mentioned. When you get these bodies... Make sure you wash them in uh, Dawn with warm water, not scalding hot water, but just warm water and then rinse it in cold water. That'll get any release agents off. I also go back and I wipe it down with alcohol or wax and grease remover. Either one will work. But what I'll do is I'll go spray this and then I'll come back to y'all and show y'all what it looks like sprayed when you... I'll get back into it more once we get back, but I'll tell you the mistakes most people make with this. So let me get this sprayed and then I'll come back to y'all. So the primer's now on, the high build primer. I just taped this off roughly, just not to get paint everywhere. You can still see we got some overspray from up top and stuff like that. I just don't want a ton of it. So I kind of try to block that off. You can see how much got blocked. But as you can see, that line is disappearing in the middle. You can actually see where it's still wet. Still wet there, but it's disappearing. And how you do go about doing this is with your high build primer, let me grab it. Your high build, your high build primer, like I said, this is more of a spot primer. You're only wanting to do, use this where it's body work. This back here is ugly because I didn't want to get a bunch of overspray, so I literally just, bam, one time right on the right on the dots. And that's plenty of build and everything. I'll be able to sand that out. It looks ugly right now, but I didn't want to just stripe the whole back. There was no need to. So, like I said, this, this is what I use to test my body work and to finish my body work. And what I mean by saying that is I don't want to go and spray the material so you go get you a ten dollar twelve dollar can of regular primer and you spray the whole thing after you did body work and then you still see that seam or you see down here the body lines not how you want it or the holes not quite filled back here or whatever the case may be you just wasted a whole coat because what i like to do is i like to get all my body work finalized with high build or even just regular primer but if you're just wanting to check your body work use your high build or your regular primer and only do the areas that you want make sure your body work looks good under paint before you go and put 
the whole body under paint. You see what I'm saying? There's no reason to waste material. So what I'll do um, after this is go back through and I'll block the roof with a little, just even something as simple as a popsicle stick wrapped in it, or I have little miniature blocks that I can sand the roof and get it as flat as possible, get that seam completely gone. But as you can see, that seam is not very uh, apparent. There are a few things I can see in person, but that's why we do this. There's a couple of little spots that had high spots on the bodywork. There are three of them, and it won't take but a second to finish that now that I can see it. It's hard to see bodywork on white, um, especially when it, the putty is white. So, like I said, this will give you a coat that will tell you, hey, this is how it's going to look in paint. If it looks bad in primer, 110% uh, guarantee you it's going to look bad in paint. So that's why we do this. This is all. This is a step of the body work, plus this is a check to see how our body work is. So this is just a quick video to show y'all. And I wanted to go over one more thing. I don't wanna make this video too long. When you're using filler or high build primer, your mindset goes into, okay, I need to lay this on heavy. That is far from the truth. If you lay that stuff on heavy, it'll feel, it'll feel body lines, everything. What you're trying to do, like on this, where my seam was, I started by just spraying the seam first and working three overlapping passes each way. Did that a couple times, and then on my last couple ones, I just went across the seam and one line, and I'm just trying to kind of build that and feather it. But it's still light coats, and I even used my heat gun because we're getting a little cooler in North Carolina and I'm in the basement. I use my heat gun on low and I just lightly, and you want to keep it moving just lightly in between coats. You want to get that to turn a matte color instead of glossy. Once it starts to matte over, that's when you know it's tacked up enough to receive another um, layer of primer. Do not want to spray primer wet on wet. So make sure it's matte like it is now. You can even see in the middle, it's starting to dry out a little bit. Um, the outsides are already really matte. So we'll let this cure up. I'll get this. This may take one more time as well. Like I said, this is not all one step processes. So if I do this and I say, okay, I need to, you know, I found another little pinhole in the body work or whatever, we'll spot that one in. We'll get it all good with this filler primer. And then in the next video, I'll come back to y'all and show y'all, uh, what I do to prep the body to get it ready for your regular primer to primer the whole body and get it in one consistent coat. Um, like always guys, comment down below. Tell me if you do it a different way. Tell me some ideas. I always like to learn. Um, tell me a joke, make me laugh. Like and subscribe to the channel. Turn that notification bell on. And until next time guys, y'all have a good one.